Austin and Zambia. I have been thinking about doing this and talking to I have received so many messages from people to take courage, for me to take courage, for me to stand strong. And I am so happy that you've considered how I feel about this. I want to talk to you all about love. But before I do so, I would like to send a huge congratulations message to the president-elect. Um, I do believe as the patriotic front, we put up a good fight. I do believe as the EPND, the United um, Party for national development also put up a good fight. We each had a role to play and I truly believe that the will of God will prevail in our lives. We are one Zambia after all in one nation. It's very heartbreaking, to be honest, to lose. But it's not the end of the road for us all as the patriotic front. I believe in our manifesto. I believe in our plans. The mandate is not ours anymore, of course, but um, I really wish the UPN be the very best. It breaks my heart to see all the violence that's happening, all the deaths. I pray every day for a Zambia that gets united. I pray every day for a Zambia that can show love and care to each other. Please, please, brothers and sisters, parents out there. This is an earnest plea from me. Please stop the violence, please. There's no need for us to burn it all down just because you won, just because we didn't win. We're talking about real lives and real people. We have to move on as a country. We have to move on as a people of the soil, people of Zambia. What does Zambia represent? So take courage. It's not an easy road, but this is not the way things should be. Look at our presidents. Look at how they stood together yesterday to discuss the future of the nation. Please, brothers and sisters, my plea, talk to someone to talk to someone else. There's no point in all the harassment, everything that's happened. So, that said, I would like to thank my president, who I love so much from the very bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu. You, sir, demonstrated a love for your people, for us. You did, you fought a good race, uh, you fought a good fight. I'm very, very proud of you, sir. Thank you for adopting me. 
on the patriotic front, the mighty patriotic front. Thank you so much, sir. So many people did not believe in me, but you believed in me. Thank you so much for trusting me with that position. Um, the mandate is somebody else's right now, but I promise I'll try my level best to take care of the people of Mwandi the best way that I can. My final sentiments to you, Zambia, is that changing government doesn't mean progress. Changing government means changing the way we're doing things currently. Let's forge ahead. Let's develop our own industries. Let's export. We are a beautiful country. And the sky is the limit for us. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. I love Zambia. And may God be with us all. <laughs>